Mr. Little Crazy. I'm very happy today because we've now managed to get the helm cover done. So now it, it does allow me to get onto the electric cupboard, which I've been waiting to do for quite some weeks now. But uh, this episode will just be about the helm cover and how it was uh, from the beginning to the end of the process. So this is how the old helm looked. Um, once I'd stripped off the old vinyl and repaired any woods, uh, I filled in the uh, dash place where the um, instruments went. And then at this point, I couldn't do anything else with it. My son's the one with the sewing machine. He's got the skills. So he was to take over from that. So this is how it went. Just brought this uh, helm around into the workshop because uh, my son's going to start preparing it for covering in vinyl and as you can see we've decided to put a new front onto it this was the original top piece that went across there this isn't uh, good enough for our dials that we're putting in at the moment because they're completely different and as you can see when these old dials come out it just fell apart anyway and to make it a nice finish we took the front off which was this piece if you remember you can see that in the other videos and we're replacing it with a new piece of wood so it meets up nicely with that one so that'll all be prepared and then the uh, surround will be checked to make sure it's good enough before we start putting the vinyl on it this is the first dry fit of the helm cover up with instruments in still a horn to go in there and we'll probably put the 12 volt plug underneath that USB position. Right so the vinyl's getting put over the uh, helm cover. We've just drop the instruments in there just to make sure that they fit okay. There is still the horn button to go up on that side. So now he's taken the uh, helm out into the sunshine of our one day of summer and what he's doing there is he's putting the foam on the outside of it and this is done exactly the same way that I did the uh, side pieces where I've got the speakers in that was in the last episode so he's doing exactly the same thing there but uh, he's making quite a neat job and now what he's doing he's templating and he's marking on this um, material here that uh, he, he's using he's marking down where he wants the lines to go for his stitching and once he's done all that he will take those as templates and cut them into the size shapes of the uh, pieces of cloth that he needs and then he'll use those to make the cuts on the cloth itself The original helm cover where he's got his hands there was actually split and it was just two folded pieces of cloth over each other and they were simply glued on but uh, what he's attempting to do there is to do a, a straight cut down the center and then the two sides will meet up in the center with the stitching that way you're not going to have any folded pieces and we're not going to have any need to um, use the adhesive on it. A much neater job in the end. So this is the progress so far on the helm surround. You see my son's got that far on it. Obviously all got to be put in place. Then there's the front that goes on it.
coal cover almost finished. It's going to be trimmed around the top. Got a centre section down there. Bottom bit's tied it up. And then that main bit which sits over there. It's got to go in and then it'll be done. Right, that's the helm cover completed. We're going to take it up onto the boat now, see what it looks like. Right, so there's the helm cover all done. Just uh, put in place, obviously not fixed, all the dolls have got to come out again to be wired up properly. And I won't be leaving the steering wheel on there while we're continuing to do the rest of the jobs. But yeah, all looks very good, all very tidy. Very posh. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.